Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for tuning into the channel. In today's video, we got a very, very, very big figure that I will be taking a look at. Uh, and that, of course, is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Titan Class Autobot Arc. But before we get started, if you haven't yet already done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another awesome review such as this big guy right here. So, starting off, let's actually just take a look at the figure. Usually, I know I start with the box, but that is a huge, huge, huge box. And uh, I actually don't even know if I'm going to bring it in this video because I don't know if it's going to fit. But we will see at the very end. If I do take a look at the box, it will be at the very end. So, let's start with this giant figure right here. So, starting off, we can see that for the most part, this figure is just in this big yellow color which is really really nice all around he does have some spots of gray uh i think it's like a sand blue color and it's actually painted here and on the other side as well uh pieces down here as well as up here molded in this gray plastic he does have this kind of like rust kind of wash on him especially on this outer rim on the front same on the other side here over here he has these little guns which are just molded in they are painted in a almost metallic black color which is really really nice he has some blue metallic blue as well as some yellow highlights here all throughout there's the bridge right up top you can see big autobot symbols right here on the side and here on the side we got more guns underneath and we do have his landing gear which is really really cool and on the back here we see all of the big thrusters which are really nicely painted in this light darkish blue i'm not sure if these are actually translucent pieces and i wouldn't be surprised if they are now down here we actually see that we have the i actually don't know what to call this um the the landing bay where this part actually drops down and it is spring loaded so i'll show you you can kind of push it up and if you just press this piece down or rather up this piece will drop down and it does kind of split apart you just have to push it together and you have a little landing bay and does it actually lead up to anywhere i don't think so as you can probably see i mean you can probably hide something in there such as like a micro master or a battle master but yeah that's pretty much it now he does come with effect pieces but uh they're somewhere in the back and they are right here and honestly pretty sure guys that own some of these figures probably know what these look like and yes they are the exact same as jetfire's uh effect parts from war for cybertron siege jetfire was the commander class for that line so these are three individual pieces you can see they just peg together or you can peg them individually into these thruster path holes kind of thrusters on the back any way you like and if you find any kind of ports on this guy as well you can plug these guys in so yeah there's that now as for some accessories um most of the accessory accessories are actually hidden inside him so without further ado well, let's just take another look at the bottom of him see how he is see what we have here there's actually not much to see here it's just robot mode stuff kind of hidden and all that he does have kind of like these i don't know what these are for really maybe like guns or kind of landing pads as well and he's big silver spots right here but yeah other than that nothing too crazy now to transform this guy let's start by folding up this landing bay and we're actually going to fold all these landing gear pieces back as well they're just kind of held in via this clip into this little part we're going to push that back same on the other side i'm going to take this one i'm going to fold that down as well so that it's completely flat now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to pop this nose cone right here down this is very hard this is a big figure and it's not a very big camera so i'm going to pop this piece open and down which actually reveals his head hello we're going to fold this along the back there is a little tab piece right there which i don't know if you can see that that little slot piece will kind of just peg on to this and thanks for being patient with me this is the first giant figure review that i've done and these tabs here will just peg into these slots right there so we're just going to peg that in all the way on both sides make sure that sits flush against the back 
Now here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold up the bridge. So we're gonna pop this part open and then we're gonna detach the bridge. I'm gonna fold that right in and we're gonna close that up so that this is now flat. Now we're gonna drop this guy down again and we're gonna rotate him to the front here. I think I just deployed something, but that's fine. And we're gonna pop up these little pieces here on the side. There's little pegs and I'll show you, or rather, Kind of clips here, right here, that just pegging like that. We're gonna open them up. And when those are unlocked, that actually allows us to lift up this entire chest section right here. And I just want to show you some detailing while I have this open. I'm just gonna flip that open all the way. And here we can actually see there is a little bridge in there as well. And yes, that is a little globe, as well as a little Optimus Prime figure, which is really, really, really cool. Take a look at that. And I'm actually going to pop this piece out because it is a separate piece. Now, this guy actually comes with Teletran 1 as a separate transformer that is deluxe size. Let me get this guy out. So here he is. We'll take a look at him later. Let's get this big guy transformed first. So with Teletran 1 out of the chest, what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces, fold them down, and then we're going to fold these pieces into the chest on both sides. Now what we're going to do is take this big flat piece. We're going to take these pieces, fold them flat, and then fold them out this way. Then we're going to fold this piece into the chest. And then what we're going to do, I know this is really crazy. There's a lot of stuff, just bear with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these side sections, we're gonna flip them up until they click into place. And then we're gonna fold them down until, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little, oh God. So this piece here, we'll tab into this piece right here. I'll fold that down and on the other side, as well, just like that. And then we're gonna take these shoulder pieces, we're gonna rotate them 90 degrees downwards. It does sound like they're breaking, but they're not, so just don't be worried about that. Fold this one down as well. And then that will allow us to take this big chest piece and just fold it down. And let's see if I can you guys to see so there's kind of this little peg piece right here that's going to sit into this piece right here on both sides so just line everything up make sure that fits nice and secure make sure there's enough clearance on both sides there we go and there's also pegs on the shoulders here that will peg into this chest piece as well so just line everything up peg everything in and just like that, everything should be good for the chest. So chest is done, let's start with the legs now. So what we're going to do is we're going to unpeg these legs, just like so, and we're going to kind of just slide them out a little bit. So the other side as well, kind of pop them out and down, just like this. I just fold them out as we go. Now I do want you to see that you see these white clips here. They just peg into you can see these little tabs on both sides of the leg. So these tabs fold into there, clip in, and that kind of just secures this lower body into place. Now while we do that, we're gonna flip these toes out as well. I'm just gonna fold them out, and they will just kind of lock in. We're gonna do the same on the other side, just off camera. That's okay. So now we can stand this guy up finally. So we're gonna straighten these legs out all the way. I'm gonna fold them out this way, 90 degrees. I'm gonna fold them down. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Straighten this out all the way. Fold, turn that 90 and fold this part uh, down just like that. Woo, it's a workout. Now what we're gonna do, we're almost done here. We're gonna take this lower piece we're just going to rotate this all the way around, just 180 degrees, so that the legs now face forward. And get my backdrop all ready. 
So you can stand. So he is standing. We're just gonna tilt the camera up and I hope this camera will hold. So here we see the upper body. We're almost done with this guy. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to just fold this arm piece out like this. I'm gonna drop it down here. And then you can see that we have the hand hidden here. We're just gonna take the hand, it's gonna pull it right out. And there's a bit of automorph gimmick going on. When you pull this out, this gray piece folds out and kind of just hides everything and completes the hand. Now it's gonna rotate that this way. So we got the elbow joint. And then we're gonna rotate the hand 90 degrees, fold out the thumb, fold the fingers, and that is one hand all done. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're just gonna drop this piece down, just like so. The joints are very, very tight, which is a little scary, but at the same time, it's good because the figure will hold. And for a figure this size, we definitely do need the joints to be fairly tight in order to hold the poses that we need to hold. So, sorry for bumping into the camera left and right, but let me just get them in a good pose. Here we have the Autowatt Arc all transformed. And boy, like I said, it's a workout, but this guy looks really, really, really cool. Um, however, compared to some of the other two Titan classes from Siege and Earthrise, he's actually, I would say, the smallest and the least exciting to transform compared to the other guys, which I will bring in for a comparison at the end. So now that he's all done, let's get the transformation for Teltran 1 as well. So I'm just going to drop this camera down. So there we go. Pointed at his feet. So here we have Teletran 1, and he is falling apart a little bit as we try to take him out of the arc himself. But like I said, here, let's take a quick look at the bridge. We have kind of like a globe here, like a map of the universe. We have a few spots here. You can see there's one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So six spots around in the bridge. That's really nice. I just put Optimus Prime here in the front because you can actually see it through the windows, the front windows, the windshield of the Ark, which is really cool. Of course, Optimus Prime would normally be standing right here in the command position, but uh, let's just take a quick look at Optimus Prime here. Now, molded detailing is pretty good. It's nothing too crazy, but it's all painted in this one color, so it's kind of hard to really figure out what's what. So, yeah, so that is that. I'm just going to leave him here, try not to lose him because he is very small. Uh, this little globe piece is also on a separate piece. Just dropped it. But don't worry, it's right here. Um, there isn't really any kind of painting on here, but it is kind of molded in this nice clear plastic. And it does have kind of like ridges all along the edge here to kind of simulate the map, which is very, very cool. I'm going to put it back here so I don't lose it. But yeah, so that's pretty much what you can see here for the bridge in this mode. So we're actually going to transform him now into his robot mode. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just unpeg these legs right here. From the side, you see these little tabs, they peg in. I'm going to fold this down and just bring this entire lower body section down. And this will become the legs. I think that's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> we're going to unpeg these from each other. And we might as well just rotate this torso around, makes it a little easier facing forward. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of just untab this entire flap section out this way, rather. And then we're going to fold these feet, just turn them 180 degrees so that the toes now face forward. And then we're going to close this section back until it clicks. And that is pretty much one leg all of them. We're going to do the same on the other side. Very simple. Just kind of pop this piece forward, swivel the foot 180, just tap everything back and just close it up just like so. And those are the legs all done. Now for the arms, we're going to flip them up this way. They do tap into the body, but not very well, but that's okay. We're going to fold them up this way. Then we're going to unhinge this entire backpack piece. We're going to fold it back just like that. We're going to take this head, flip it up straight, make sure these kind of like these solar panels on this little 
uh, satellite are folded kind of straight and we're just going to bring this entire piece down and you see these flaps will kind of fold into these little grooves right here and then this kind of bracket piece will just fold around into the shoulders right there so we're just going to line everything up just make sure everything tabs in and we're pretty much just about done we're going to turn the head 180 we're going to turn the arms nine or 180 degrees rather we're going to open up this big flap which will allow us to fold out the fist and we're going to close that back up and there is one arm all done we're going to do the same on the other side open this up flip out the fist fold that back and here we have the other side and here we have Teletran one in his robot mode very very nice detailing we see detailing on his chest yellow kind of almost like a calm thing <laughs> just to communicate i guess he has these nice tampographs on his forearms as well as his legs and he has the head which actually has pretty good light piping because there's this clear piece on the back and of course everything here just sits right on the back and yeah that is that for the robot mode <clears throat> excuse me in terms of articulation head is on a swivel shoulders are on a uh, sw swivel as well they can go all the way around we can go out straight to horizontal we have a bicep rotation a elbow bend that goes up to 90 and nothing really at the wrist so getting that out of the way we do have a waist rotation that is needed for transformation but actually in robot mode it kind of stays this much because this piece is flat against the body there's not that much rotation here in the waist legs can kick up that far forward but not very much backwards we can go straight out to the side for the splits we have a thigh rotation right up there we have a bend at the knee that goes just to 90 and we have a foot pivot that goes straight to 90 degrees as well as a bit of rotation that we used for transformation so yeah that is articulation for teletran one <coughs> sorry excuse me but uh in terms of transformation he actually has another mode he can transform into the computer mode now what we're going to do for that is we're going to kind of half transform him back to what he was before so we're just going to raise these arms up to the top here we're going to fold this open fold the fists back fold, fold the fists back as well we are going to untap this entire back piece flip it up we're going to push this head piece down and we're going to flip this back up to what it was peg that right in just like so we're going to rotate this waist around again 180. now what we're going to do is we're going to keep the feet as is and that is okay we don't need to worry about that but we want to kind of as we saw earlier we're going to un just open up the flaps all along his legs on both sides we're going to unpeg that and we're going to rotate that all the way out just like that and then we're actually going to rotate the foot 90 degrees that way and we're going to do the same on this other side we're going to open up this flap right here and this piece does tend to fall off but that's okay we're going to peg that back in open it up this way again take the foot rotate it 90 degrees and then we're going to tab these leg pieces together once again just like that and from here we're going to bend the knees just enough so that these two sections here can kind of tab on top of these knees so line everything up just like so it's a little bit of doing to line up everything up just like that and that'll just peg in flush and here we pretty much have the front panel of the lower part of the computer done so from this point we're going to take this flap we're going to fold that out and here we actually see we have the golden discs so oh that's quite cool, cool we'll take a look at those later actually i'm going to take them out because they don't tend to stay in very well we'll take a look at them in a sec i'm going to take this piece fold it out to the other side and from here we're going to take 
these flaps that we saw earlier, we're going to fold them up. And I don't know if you can see, this little tab piece will just hook on right underneath this part just to hold it in place just like that. And it's popping out a little bit, but that's okay. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same on the other side, just lift that up. And we want kind of this piece to sit in front of this ridge, but behind that ridge right there. So just like so. And pretty much we have the front of Teletran one all done and ready to go. Now all that's left is just this top part here. What we're going to do is we're going to just rotate this part until that slot pegs into this tab and this little groove will house kind of this tab right there. So I'm just gonna line everything up. We do want to kind of keep this open. You don't want to fold it flat. So keep that open and rotate right there just like so. And this can take a little bit of doing, but that's okay. Just line everything up and pop that piece right into place and just like so. I'm gonna do the same on the other side here. Keep that open, rotate this forward, peg this piece in and then fold this piece down just like so. And yeah, here we pretty much have Teletran 1 in his computer mode, which is very, very, very cool. And you can see much more detailing here now that we can see we have a map of the Earth, the Matrix, the Ark, as well as, I'm guessing, um, this little jewel piece right here. I don't know, but yeah, so that is that. And we see all this tampograph detailing again here. Very, very cool. And yeah, not that much paint besides the tampographs, but still very, very cool. And on the back, we see it's just kind of robot mode kibble, kind of hidden, not really. And for accessories here, we actually have this satellite, which can come out. We just gonna have to wiggle it out, be very gentle because it does have this antenna at the top. That I do not want to break. Where'd it go? Right there. So we're still good, nothing broke. Make sure that picks in. And here, let's take a look at this little satellite. I'm not sure if there's a specific name. I'm pretty sure there is. I just do not remember it. But this little satellite that's painted in silver and it has these gray pieces here as well as a yellow on the top and bottom. So that is that. Let's take a look at the golden discs which on the front all look the same. The sounds of Earth which if you guys didn't actually know is actually modeled after real a real record that was sent out into space called the sounds of earth to try to search for intelligent life so that's that now on the back we see this one which this is what the actual disc is modeled after and then we also have this one right here which just kind of has a bunch of weird ruins that's if you watch the original beast wars show you probably will know what these are for so yeah, they're painted in this nice kind of dark, rusty gold color and very, very nice detail. So excellent accessories for these guys as well. Let's try to move everything off to the side. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Teletran 1. So we're going to put them off to the side as well. I'm just going to go over the articulation real quick for this big guy. So here we go. All right. So as we saw, head is on a swivel back and forth. Shoulders are, due to transformation, we can turn them all the way around and all the way down as well. We do have shoulders that lift out to the side as well as down. We have a bicep swivel and a elbow bend that goes up that much. The hands, the finger, the thumb is on a hinge as well as the fingers all together. We have a swivel here at the wrist as well. These hands out of the way. Um, we do have a waist swivel, which is very, very tight. Now, all the joints on these guys are extremely tight, so that's really good. We do have a leg kick that goes up really far and back as well, out to the side, as well as a rotation here at the thigh. For the knees, we can bend pretty much past 90, which is really nice. And for the legs, we do have a kind of an ankle pivot that only goes that far, which is not the best. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, articulation here for uh, 
the arc. Now I'm going to bring him all the way to the back so we can get some comparisons going on right here. And here I have him next to both Titans of War for Cybertron, or rather all three of the Titans now for War for Cybertron. So we have Omega Supreme, which was the Titan class for Siege. We have Scorponok, which actually just got recently as well, because the initial release was sold out pretty much everywhere, and I thought I was never going to pick up this guy. But uh, luckily, I was able to, so I might just do a review on him as well later on, uh, which was the Titan for Earthrise. And here, finally, we have Autobot Arc, which is the Titan for Kingdom. So... What would I say about this guy? He is an absolutely amazing figure. Um, compared to these guys, I would say the transformation is fairly simple. There's actually, uh, I would say he has more kind of accessories, cool accessories compared to some of these other guys, which actually I would say have more uh, better gimmicks. Now, compared to these guys, he's actually the smallest out of the group as well, which is a little kind of disappointing, but still he's a great figure nonetheless. I would highly suggest if you can pick this guy up, definitely go for it and pick him up but uh, I do think he is actually kind of really hard to pick up because I picked mine up at uh, GameStop Canada now but um, I think they were saying that they were kind of short on stock and some people were actually gonna have to wait a little bit so I was definitely lucky to actually be able to pick this guy up so I would say if you can find him definitely find him and I would say the same for any one of these guys and maybe even the commander class as well because these are very special figures they're not figures that you would normally just find in the stores um these these are figures that i know if they sell out uh, it's going to be really really hard to find them in the future and even if you do find them in the future it's probably not going to be cheap so yeah so that's my review of the transformers war for cybertron kingdom autobot arc titan class so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button until next time guys take care